Oh, hey, down here. Okay, trying out a desktop, a VLC desktop recording script. This is a, looks like the same script as the one I ran the other day. Let's see if our audio looks like it's working here. Yep, I'm using the lapel mics this time because I didn't have uh, everything set up. And I didn't want to drag it, you know, get out everything out and my SM58 and turn everything on and all that. So, uh, <coughs> uh, we can see over here on the, uh, terminal window that were I should it should since it's, I'm if it works like the other one as long as I can see it on my screen here it should all be um, it should all be seen but I'm not sure so uh, yeah I didn't click I don't know if I clicked on this there's a there's a decent signal there that's where I have it set already for uh, you know when I was actually using it with other programs so it should be fine <clears throat> and it's recording away it uses the same let's see um, We'll just view it. Oops. And yeah, we'll click on the script. That's the script. I, it's named by, made by a fellow named Amit Apadi. And uh, <clears throat> I saw his video. I'm going to close this so I don't mess anything up. I'm, go I'm going to view it. And I just looked through it kind of quickly, and it looks pretty much the same as the one I already tried. The one I already tried, uh, <clears throat> it was on... Uh, where did I get that? Oh, I got it on a website. Um, about a Linux help website. I mean, a Fedora Linux help website. Anyway, I think it's the same script, probably written by this guy. I imagine since it's the same, but uh, um, <coughs> and it might have said it was written by him on there. I don't remember. But um, the one that I ran, well, the first time. Not the first, okay, the first time I successfully ran it, don't just double click on the script. You need to, um, can I get to the top of there? Can you see it? Okay. You need to run it in the terminal window so that you'll be able to stop it properly. And you just hit uh, dot or period forward slash the name of the script. I'll just copy and paste the name of the script in and then hit enter. <coughs> you can double click. If you make it executable, you can... You can uh, hit enter and it'll run and it'll record just fine, but then you don't have any way of stopping it gracefully and then uh, you can't save your recording. <clears throat> and because right here at the end of the script, it's, uh, it's going to, uh, when you hit control C to cancel the script in the terminal window, then it will say, it'll come up and say, do you want to encode it in WebM for YouTube? And you're going to hit enter. Now I typed in yes and hit enter and I might have messed it up and then the next time I tried it, <clears throat> Uh, I never got that far. It never came up with the question, so I got tired of messing with it. But I thought, well, let's try this one. Maybe there's one or two little lines in there that's different that I don't see, and maybe it'll work. So, um, and here is this. He, it's on his GitHub page, and this is it right here. And that's where I got his name. And uh, <clears throat> you just, uh, I thought I tried to save it somehow, but I couldn't find a way to save it. So, and it's in the screen here. I just. Uh, you start at the top here and select it. If, you, if you're going to select a script out of one of these little windows, well, see, there's one of the first things. Oh, okay, it doesn't want to get the numbers, I guess. It should. Doesn't act like it wants to get those numbers that are kind of not high, you know, that are kind of grayed out. And make sure you go page all the way to the right and get every bit of your, whatever's in your window. If you're in one of these little windows like that, you got to make sure and get it all. Then right click on the blue and say copy. That may seem pretty elementary, but a lot of people don't know how to do that. Or they know how, or they don't pay, you know, you might not catch that. You might just go like that. Well, you might get it all, but see, I got too far that time. That's the other thing you don't want to do. And you can't, I already tried it, don't hit, select all, right click, select all, you get the whole page. So anyway, it's actually a little more picky you to get this stuff out of these little windows than you might think. The video <coughs> is where I, uh, this video right here, is where I got uh, the, he had the link in his video and uh, <coughs> he's uh, <coughs> he's an IT guy evidently that's what it says here on the end of his his name there <coughs> so anyway <coughs> excuse me uh, always good to have sinus problems and stuff. at least I'm not coughing right now I did before I started I wasn't coughing at all and as soon as I put my mics on I cough so anyway <coughs> Well, I guess you don't notice that stuff till you start talking. You know, I've been sitting there watching videos and reading, and 
so I don't okay now I don't know if when you switch windows I didn't try it the last time I kept forgetting to try it you may not be seeing a thing of what I'm showing you over here in the other I'm switching workspaces I mean or de I could usually call them desktops like this depends I said I guess I call it windows sometimes too anyway <coughs> I was switching um, what the, the the term that they call it is workspaces in in uh, Fedora and I think they call it that in the vein too so uh, I'll get back in the in the recording window. I'm going to stop it and let's and I'll see if it makes. <coughs> I don't have. A, I'm not running another. Sometimes I think the last time I did it, I might have ran. Uh, been running a separate, you know, another desktop recorder recording me recording a desktop. But sometimes they can interfere with each other, so I decided I wouldn't do that. So I'm going to hit Control C and that'll cancel the recording. That's what that does. So um, this is another clip that I had uh, recorded around the same time um, of the desktop and uh, <clears throat> this is uh, VLC doing one of those running one of those scripts and uh, I think it's a, it's a different recording and it was showing uh, the system usage and everything and, um, <clears throat> and then here's the files that I uh, came up with and uh, that's the one that I'm showing right now and then the other two that say temp on the end one's audio and one's video and that's what I combined in the first part of this video so um, I never did get it to work where it would automatically combine audio and video so I'm editing this in Kden live the newest version in December 2019 so that's it for now <laughs>